Cool? Okay, cool. So let's try this one. If a gas occupies 10 liters at 273 Kelvin, with doubling the temperature to 546 Kelvin, what is the final volume? So what are the two variables that are changing? Can you guys figure that out already? Volume and temperature, okay? When that happens, it's called Charles' Law. Charles was some balloonist, okay? Like when hot air balloons were all the rage back in like France in the 1800s, you know? And he was like some pioneer balloonist, okay? So he figured out that if you heat up a gas, your balloon gets bigger, okay? That's essentially what Charles' Law is, okay? If you cool it down, it gets smaller too, okay? So we can start with PV equals NRT, right? And we'll get Charles' Law, and I'll show you what Charles' Law is in a second. So PV, P1, V1, N1, R, T1. P2, V2, N2, R, T2, right? So let's write down what we know from the problem. So um, V1, do we know that? 10.0 liters, right? Because it says if a gas occupies 10 liters at 273 Kelvin. So what is 273 Kelvin? Then? T1, right? So everybody cool with it being T1? That's the initial temperature of it, right? It says if a gas occupies 10 liters at this temperature, that means that's what it initially is, okay? Um, then it says doubling the temperature to 546 Kelvin. So what does that mean we've done? T2, T2 right? We changed that temperature. So 546. And then it's asking, what is the final volume? So what is that going to be? V2. V2. So V2 is the variable we want to isolate, right? So did P change? No. Did V change? Yes. yes. Did N change? No. no. And R never changes, right? So this is another way to write uh, Charles' Law. V1 over V2 equals T1 over T2. But a lot of times you'll see it written um, V1 divided by T1 equals um, V2 divided by oops, T2. So it's the same thing though, right? If, try to mix, mix that up, okay? So let's just use what we got from the ideal gas. This PV equals NRT, by the way, it's called the ideal gas law. It's cool because you can get all the other gas laws from it, okay? So you don't have to memorize blah, 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 you know? You can only memorize one thing. So let's use this one that we got from the ideal gas law. That's Charles' law. So, we want to isolate V2, right? Let's use that flipping thing because it's easier when we have it, things on both sides to flip, okay? There's an easier, or it's easier to justify <coughs> why we're doing it, okay? So, we want to get V2 on the top, so we'll flip them both over, okay? So, what do we get? What's our equation going to be then? V2 over V1 equals what? T2 over T1. Is uh, the variable we're looking for isolated? No, so we're going to have to do what? Multiply both sides by V1. Right? So what's our new, so that cancels. Our new equation is V2 equals what? T2 V1 over T1. Like that. Right? It's much easier to do it this way with, instead of with the numbers, you know? So, now what do we do? Plug and chug, right? Plug so, and chug. Plug and chug, yes, exactly. So, what's our temperature? T2? 546 Kelvin, remember your units. Um, and V1? 10.0 liters. And then T1? 273 Kelvin. So is there units that we can cancel here? Kelvin. Kelvin. What are the units that we get out? Liters. Liters. Is that what we're looking for? Yes. Volume is a liter. The volume is good in liters, right? That's what we're looking for. Okay, so what do we do? We can get our calculators out if you can't do this in your head. This is two 
2 divided by 1, essentially. But um, So let's just do this together. 546 times 10, and then divide that by 273, right? And then what do we get? 20.0, right? Why would we need 3? 3, 3, 3, right? And then I like it when you guys put a box around it, you know, that makes me happy. So I know that's your final answer. So you just Wait, is there a question? Okay. You just flip it every time. I mean, if you need to. I flip, you'll flip, you'll need to flip it when the, the isolate, the variable you want to isolate is in the bottom. Okay? Right. So like if you have this form of the equation and you're looking for T1, right, or flip it. Or looking for T2, flip it. You're looking, if you have this form, you're looking for V2, flip it. What is your equation? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. Any more? No? Nope. Okay.